what's that old saying? Give a man an onion and he'll have onion for a meal or teach a man to grow onions and he'll have onions for life. Well, today we're going to harvest see Alyssa Craig onions. First, we'll take a quick walk around here and you can see everything's doing pretty good. We've been really hot, humid and dry, so we've been doing a lot of watering and um you know, pretty much you see some of the beds are emptying out now and we're getting loaded up with eggplants. So we'll be freezing eggplants probably tomorrow or day after. We've had a lot of uh, different vegetables we've been eating lately, but it's time to pull the onions. It looks like uh, they probably could go another another week or two, I think. But the tops are starting to fall over and they really do look like they're big enough. And, you know, they come to a point where they just don't get much bigger, so... I'm going to pull them now, and you can see these are the Alyssa Craig onions, and as always, they are just, you know, wonderful size, and this year, instead of using the little picking baskets, I decided to bring the, the big garden cart out, because I do have two, two of these raised beds planted with the onions, and these are all planted a fresh compost. One thing I'm seeing is, for some reason, I'm getting a lot of double onions where the onion actually I put one plant in but it's split into two and I'm winding up with two a uh, little bit smaller onions instead of one giant one they still look good they pull right apart like that but um, definitely um, never seen this before well, I've seen it with one or two in a year but not with so many so something something happened there but anyhow you can see pretty much these things have been really haven't done anything with them since I put the plants in. I started the seeds back in about February in the grow tent and I moved them out early and just watered them. I filled the beds with fresh compost this year and this is what they look like. Uh, for some reason these Alyssa Craig onions are, they, they do well every year. They're just uh, the perfect onion for our situation and they do store well for us too. So there's one, the first bin pulled, and there's some beans. We'll be probably making some dilly beans in another week. We've been eating so many of them. And let's start on the second bed and take a look at that guy. That looks like a two-pounder there. Pretty amazing how nice these Alyssa Craig onions go. And here goes Grandma on the solar cart. The boss has been watching me, I think. She's sneaking around with that little quiet cart that runs on the sun now. That's been doing really good with the, the solar panels and batteries. Pretty much it's always 100% charged up and ready to go. So I'm just going to, you know, continue pulling these things. And there are a lot of weeds left behind, but I really kind of just ignore these beds when I start them. So I'll clean them up now that the onions are coming out. But as you can see, there's some nice sized ones here. And we did have, you know, we did have a, a lot of heat so far. Um, we had a couple good rainstorms, but basically I've been watering these all the time just to keep them growing. And again, they're just beautiful onions and they do store well. So, got my cart full and time to head up to the house. <laughs> there must be 100 pounds of onions in that cart. Unbelievable. I have to yank that thing up the hill. And there's another project I got going on. I'll be making a video about a little while. I'm working on that one there. Um, doing a lot of cleaning out there. So now I'm going to just start spreading them out in the sun on the porch here. And let them cure, start to dry out and cure for a couple days. Um, you don't want to really cut the tops off until all the moisture is pulled out of them. And they turn brown and, you know, pretty much get good and dry. And, um... The, that way the onions don't rot if you cure them. You just go slowly. And I, I start out on the porch and then I'll move them inside in the uh, dark and just, you know, let them dry some more. But there they are. That's this year's harvest. Um, once they're dry, I'll cut them up and cut the tops and weigh them and see what I got. And there's some potatoes I dug up the other day just to uh, clean out another bed. So I just wanted to um, show you how easy I find it to grow these onions. Take seeds, compost, a little bit of sunshine and water. And, you know, every year they seem to be the same. Um, we've had really good luck with them. They've been, uh, you know, I'm so glad we switched over to these. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.